Are you experiencing this problem with your Fitec system on a new installation where you crank the engine and it fires, but it won't start? Or if you prime the engine a few times, get some fuel in there and it fires and starts? Well, today on Tech Tuesday at Fitec, we're going to cover how to diagnose and solve that problem. There are seven key areas that can cause difficult starting. Maybe it fires and dies, or maybe it won't start at all. Number one is key wires on accessory. Number two is the incorrect RPM input setting. Number three, the battery or ECU supply voltage is low when cranking. Number four, the fuel pressure is low or you're out of fuel. Number five, the IAC or idle screw adjustment is out of adjustment. Number six, the crank fuel is too much or too little. And number seven, the after start fuel is not correctly set. Another often overlooked setting is the IAC or idle screw adjustment. On the throttle body, the screw adjusts how much air gets to go by the throttle blades. During starting, the computer is assuming that the throttle blades are adjusted properly, but the IAC, if it's getting less air and injecting a lot of fuel, it may be actually too rich when it's cold starting. But if you adjust the throttle blades properly, it'll get the proper amount of air and the proper amount of fuel for a very quick start. The typical adjustment is three to 10 IAC steps when the engine is warm and in park. In balance with the IAC steps is the amount of cranking fuel added to the engine. Different engines require different amounts of fuel. If it's too much, the engine may flood out or may just start burbling when you actually get it to start. If it's too little, the engine may fire and die. It may just never fire at all. When experimenting with crank fuel adjustments, you may notice that the engine may start if I open the throttle a little or if I just keep cranking longer, it may finally start. You may also notice if you have to prime the key a few times on a throttle body system to get it to start, that may show that it's too lean and needs more crank fuel. If you need to open the throttle, it may show that it's too rich. The simple way to experiment with this is to make crank fuel adjustments based on the temperature. To make the adjustments to the crank fuel, it's in the crank and warm up. To make the adjustments, I first try to make like a minus 20 adjustment and see if that makes a difference. Send it to the computer, save it, make the adjustment, test it out, see if it's okay. If that's good, maybe try another 10 for 10. When cold engine, it's not okay to keep starting over and over and expect the results to be consistent because the fuel sits on the manifold and is not drying out between starts. If you're doing day-to-day -day starting, the fuel will be gone. You'll be able to get accurate results with the first cold starts. If the engine's hot, there's two ways to make crank fuel adjustments. You can either turn the key off directly or rev the engine up and turn the key off. I like to make sure that both conditions have a decent starting. It may need minus 10%, it may need minus 20% or more, depending on your engine. It may even need positive fuel just to experiment a little if you're having trouble. So if you've checked out everything else and your problem is more that the engine starts, it's got everything set correctly for the IAC and the cold start. Fuel pressure's good, battery's good, it starts up, but it just doesn't stay running or runs really poorly for the first few seconds. You can maybe make some adjustments to the after start fuel versus coolant temperature. The main symptom of not enough after start fuel is the engine starts up, struggles a little bit and stalls. It could also mean there's too much fuel, but you can actually see in the AFR, if the AFRs are going 15, 16, 17, 18 and it stalls, it's not enough after start fuel. If the AFRs in the dashboard are going 11, 10, 12, which is very rich, it may stumble and stumble and stall. You may need to decrease the fuel. It's very rare that you'll need to actually decrease the after start fuel. On a big cam with a low VE at idle, the after start fuel is based on the VE, so it may need actually a lot more after start fuel, maybe even 50% more. This is adjusting the behind the scenes value, so it's not adding 50% more fuel, it's just adding 50% more after start fuel. So there you have it. If you've gone through all the settings, made the correct adjustments, the engine should start just like this. So there you go. This one's starting fine now. I've made all the adjustments. 
That concludes today's Tech Tuesday at FiTech. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, you can contact Tech Support. Join us again next week for another Tech Tuesday at FiTech.